Bacha already tossed it a bike at I'm Chi. And that's actually going to be the Warrior quite low on health. Bacha getting hit with a Storm Bolt, though. Drop it to half his health. This Warrior got some bite to him. This Warrior got some dams coming in as a Fury Warrior. I'm Chi is going to be quite low on health. So is Bachi actually popping a Cloak of Shadows. I wonder why. Is it something I'm Chi using? Is going to get a cheap shot on Tom Chi? Going to be Org Big Dress, Ripping Flames, and to get a shot. Um, Chi barely has the hell to survive it. Does have Mage Food from Fruity down to his team. Get a charge on to Bachi. Get in that heal into a fear. Lock the rogue down. It's going to go for massive heals. That's so how Bachi could go for evasion. Going to be a Storm Bolt on to Bachi. And Chi catching up on a lot of health. Huge Dragon's Roar on to Bachi. Getting himself massive healing from the Warlock Hellstone. And now it will be a perfect time for Bachi to turn the damage around. Does not have Dust. Does not have Reaper Flames. Is popping in Big Vendetta on to I'm Chi. No more evasion. Does Bachi have anything left? Big charge by the warrior into a disarm onto the rogue. Staying on top of him with those bloodthirst. Could be huge. Blind onto the warrior. And Bachi looks like he might have some recovery. Let's he's dead right here. What is killing you right now? What is going on? Got himself a sipping cup at the last second. No more dots. It looks like he's going to be able to get out of the scot free. I'm Chi without any health available. Might have to go for the eye. And Bachi probably has a Shadow Step ready for him right now. Shadow Step, Cheap Shot. Does he have enough damage though? Does he do it? Does not have it. I'm Chi with a Storm Bolt. Gonna be a vanish for Bachi though. Does trick in the Storm Bolt. And I'm Chi trying to see if he can catch up to him. I don't know who he got a Bloodthirst from. Hopefully not somebody on Team Red. Get a shot on Tom Chi. Trying to catch up to Bachi. And looks like Bachi barely takes him out. No dots. And he gets out of this. Scott Free in a very close game just now. And Christina trying to get into the enemy team. Christina, if you need to go into the enemy team and just start swiping to see if you can catch the rogue, you are allowed. Team Blue, just like give them space. Don't tell them where Bachi is at, but if Christina is running at you, you can back up to give them space to swipe. Don't tell them where Bachi is at. Don't like, you know, get away from Bachi. But if Christina is in the middle and they're swiping around, just back up, let him do the thing. He's not trying to AOE you guys down. He's just looking for the rogue. Yeah, 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 that was a good game to begin with though team blue. We have Christina We got money in the back as well. Just doing a bit of a dance We got a ganker in the back. We got us this fruity deck. Just to get hit with the kidney shot by Bachi who's looking like he's gonna go on a better one of the true retreat getting dots of Christina making sure poisons are flowing dots are running But it seems it's gonna be granite. It's gonna be costly. It's gonna be no mova and it's gonna be Pooza. That's the closest I could get to the sum of the name this guy I think it's actually no it's grant actually granta uh i'll, I'll call him granted maybe i'll call him either grant or granted whichever one rolls off the tongue in the moment because you never know in the moment what rolls off the tongue the best another kid shot to christina sitting that bear from buying this time vendetta coming out was that a vendetta it is a vendetta right now but bachi is actually committing damage thorns up for christina that's gonna be cloak of shadows for bachi has evasion if he needs to just try to kite christina with the crippling poison Letting those dots of Vendetta do work. Evasion coming up right now. He's going to have thorns for a moment or two. Christina is going to have thorns disappearing though. And Bacha, I think he's going to just try to stay aggressive. Christina, perfect opportunity for him to catch a couple of heals here and there. And Bacha is going to catch himself another reset. Kidney shot onto Christina. Does hit him with a bike. The bear from does help him survive most of that damage. Extra health and armor to deal with the physical portion of the dam into a blind. Trick him for Christina right now. For Bacha, this might be good. Just need to survive until the next kidney shot. Unless Christina has massive burst right here available. Try to go for a bike. Big bite to fall into Bacha. Bacha does have enough health available. Christina needs himself another defensive normal wall available. Dressed by somebody. I don't even know by who. Vanished by Bacha for a second. Landing a kidney shot on Christina. Does he have enough in Venom? Is that enough though? I think the dots are there. The dots are holding. Christina does get himself a heal. Bachi is coming back to Christina. Maybe try to see if he can shadow step interrupt. It's going to be Christina actually healing out. Bachi bleeding out. Could Bachi just go down? I think he needs to make a move right now. Does get himself a sippy cup heal and a stab behind the wall. Reaper flames to Christina. Mame does get a kidney shot to Christina. The dots might have it. And I think Bachi does take these guys out with a sliver of health for the second time in a row. Actually, I think he's still dead, is he though? Smoke bomb in case anyone comes at him. Does catch a resell. Money does throw. And money taking him out. I don't know if it was assassination. I don't know if it was sub. But it was somebody there shuriken throws or knives that took him out. Looks like he is playing assassination. Big blood of the enemy onto. No, subtlety he is sub. Big blood of the aim on Topuza. Actually getting quite a bit of damage on Topuza. Blinded Demon Hunter does go for immune. No trick out available for Demon Hunter. 
Money actually just outplayed Puss as long as he catches a sap. As long as you get your perfect cheap shot. Shadow Blade is available. This man is just going to have the most damage ever. Nightblade. Shadow Strikes are coming out. Maybe one more cheap shot. Does drop darkness. Is darkness going to be enough though? Does Puss get lucky with darkness? Gets a stun into money. That's going to be Ibeam for a second. Puss is still taking a bit of dot damage. I don't know from what. Money taking massive bursts out of the Demon Hunters. He going counter offensive. Get a shot onto Puss and does have enough for that big inviscerate at the end. Reaping Flames by Granta. Doesn't even let the rogue out of there just fire blast and reaper flames doesn't even let him escape just gonna take at least one of them out ganker is gonna be up next as a zanda whoa okay cheap shot onto granta gonna go for a trinket breath onto the rogue immediately polymorph and that's gonna be g pie cooking in the oven does Gra uh, ganker do anything for it ring of frost is gonna connect that greater fire blast onto ring of frost looks like ring isn't gonna hold long at all a couple fire blasts firing from granta does get interrupted on fire temporal up immediately and the anchor is gonna get himself a massive heal the health is back up and flowing got himself i guess a sipping cup asap Granta is going to be slowed by the poison. So Ganker might be able to catch himself a reset. Breath missing. Reopening Onaga Road. Get a shot. It's going to be Ice Block as a bike comes in. And Granta, I was going to say, the mage might have Ice Block too early. But that bike, perfect thing to stop it. And that's going to be a Meteor just randomly chucking it out at Ganker who does catch a reset. I think it was trying to kind of hope to that Ganker would run in the opposite direction or maybe get hit by Meteor. But that's going to be another reset for him so far. The stroke has been pretty elusive. Double Garoad into Granta. Kinda shot to follow. Vendetta tossing a bunch of bite bugs at him. Trying to get a big old Venom with a dress. Huge Venom's coming out onto Granta. Is going to throw Reaping Flames in there. Temporal up for Granta. Does get a bit of healing. And he does still have Cauterize. Combustion available. Blind onto Granta. As combustion comes out, so the rogues go to CC the burst altogether. Granted, no trick available, no ice block available either. All the bursts out of the window. I'm interested how you actually went, tried to go for a greater pyro with that combustion. Should have maybe shimmered away from Ganker off of that Nova. Because Ganker had nothing, no, no vanish, no cloak. That actually would have been, as long as you were out of range of the blind, you would have actually been able to get some damage in. Looks like Granted is going to be down. Ganker backing up, knowing there's going to be cauterize. Red right, trying to see if he can catch up. Does he go for the Hail Mary Breath? Nope, he does not. I think he tried to go for Reaper Flames. Temporal up. I don't know if that's going to do anything for you. Barely, barely. Almost survived it, too. Almost survived it. And Ganker keeping Fruity Dad warm <laughs> with his damage. Kasi is going to be up next. Try to see if he can walk into walk around in Whirlwind. Might be able to maybe find the Rogue. We'll see, we'll see. If this rogue plays as good as Bacha does, as clutch as Bacha did, then we're going to have ourselves a very, very interesting game. Because Bacha had himself a hell of a show, dude. Getting so low on health. <laughs> and that's going to be tricked out of Ganker, actually, from Kosti. Kosti eating kidney shots and cheap shots back to back. It looks like he's just going to be slowed down as Ganker is going to go for the long game. What is the bleed damage? Okay, I got to check these rogues, man, after this. How many of you all are running gushers? How many of y'all running? Go What's you guys' flavor, favorite flavor of Gushers? Mine is Battle for Azeroth. That's going to be a bike over at Kosti. Who does get a strong bolt onto Ganker for a second. He's going to rotate and disarm. For Kosti, it's going to be a little bit tough to get some meaningful pressure onto Ganker. Because again, he's just going to slow him and kite him around this massive pillar in the middle. Massive pillar with a raven just sticking out of the top. Beautiful arena, by the way. I love the environment here, man. Black Hold is amazing. I love it. I'm glad they added Legion. It looks so awesome. It looks like a real arena. That's going to be a cheap shot onto Kasi. Kidding shot to fall. It does throw in a dress. It's going to be Big Vendetta too. And Ganker going in for that Vanish strat. Letting Dots melt Kasi. So that is going to be complete. Just hands off approach. Put the Dots in the guy. And watch him melt from afar. It's going to throw in a flame that might be able to solidify the win right here. Kasi does go down. Ganker with a Dot heavy build. But he might have met his match as Mo- Whoa. Mova, my man, are you actually Alliance now? You were a orc, unless you have a second character. Maybe that is what's happening. Maybe there's just a second character. An Alliance Warlock. How do people make multiple rogues, by the way? I could never play more than one rogue. I used to back in Legion, but it was like so weird. It's going to be a succubus CC as Mova gets hit and to get the shot is going to at least feed Ganker. One casual to the face. Fainting as the Infernal comes out. 
Should have himself maybe a bit of survivability. Does have cloak if needed. That's going to be almost a cancel, making its way at Ganker. But Mova, I guess, just didn't have those haste procs available. And Ganker just going to pop evasion versus the Infernal. Just trying to deal with that thing. Trying to dot it up. And just trying to mostly kite away from Mova, though. As the uh, Warlock is approaching, going to land a kid shot on him. At least get the dots. It's going to be sucking, but see, probably going to break to Infernal or the dots. And it does break. Mova cannot catch Ganker with that. Uh, is he not running the talent for uh, Conflag rooting people? Or does it have to be on people that have Immolation? Because I don't even think it has to be on people with Immolation Aura, does it? I think I have to have, to have a dot for the root to happen, do you? Or am I wrong on that? But he couldn't catch and root Ganker. Otherwise, that would have been a perfect, perfect go. But Ganker is kind of low on health. Blind onto Mova is going to get hit with a coil. More, It's going to be a trinket for that mortal coil. Get a kidney shot on Tomova. Does get a wall out of him. Ganker still sipping down on health little by little. That's going to be vanished very, very soon. Gazmold is going to be there for free. Does he have the cloak of shadows? Is he going to be done for the count here? Might be able to cloak this one. Possibly does pop a cloak. And a vanish to follow is going to at least be able to get out of there scot-free. And Mova needs to find a way to find Ganker. That's regenerating. It's going back huge. Probably should have sent a pet at Mova or Ganker immediately with that regenerate. That's going to be... Cat because I'm around the corner. Did Fruity Dad get clipped? Fruity Dad didn't even get clipped. And if Fruity Dad didn't get clipped, there's no way that Ganker would have gotten clipped. Yeah. So Mova down on the wall. No more trinket available. Maybe now Ganker might have a perfect situation where he can actually go for big damage. Big Vendetta onto Mova. Maybe he needs to find a way to get through the Mortal Coil. He needs to get the Succubus to, to see him. Once those are used and are on DR, it might be much easier. That's going to be Mova going for the gate, maybe too early. So Mova won't have the gateway anymore. That's going to be Infernal down onto Ganker with a stun to follow. Does get the emulation with a Cataclysm right after. And Drain Life to follow. Ganker might be out of options. Does go for a self-heal. But I think the dodge by the Warlock might be too much. And the Cancel seals the deal. As he swaps to the Intra Pet immediately free dad popping in as a fire mage getting the voodoo rot trick down onto mova does interrupt him on fear that's gonna be shadow intro big mitchie coming down huge damage out of fruity oh my goodness he just came in and melted mova down he didn't even have to stop a cancel he just stopped the fear and he was like that's it i got it i can do this huge damage huge damage out of that man Yo, these rogues, man, these rogues are good. Bachi played it so, so clutch. I like that close games with Bachi, man. I like those close games. He just kept at it and at it and at it and at it. Oh, <laughs> uh, hell yeah, dude. Group full. All right, fam. I can get you versus Skeet whenever available, yeah? All right, let's get another one going, boys.